I'm Tim Miller. People know me as Bizzle. Uh, I play for Ghost Gaming. My name is Kayun, and I'm a professional Fortnite player for Ghost Gaming. Right as we got here, we sat down to talk about Fortnite competitively, how it's different from public games, how it's a different play style from what most people know. Today we're gonna go over some uh, competitive play, uh, some competitive strategies in general, how, how we approach tournament matches. Uh, normally, like with zone, how do you usually position yourselves? Generally, a, a lot of people don't think too much about like how to rotate, but that's literally the most important part about competitive play, right? So w w when you're rotating, what you want to focus on is routes that limit how many people can shoot you at once. So either you rotate early and get to the end of the zone, or you wait for everyone else to rotate so you have your your back to the zone, so there's no one behind you. You want to always like isolate yourself so that one side of wherever you're facing, there's no one there. When they position, they always put themselves in a position where they can utilize everything around them, especially, especially their surroundings, whether it be like high ground or taking low ground or, you know, pretty much approaching players in a sense. There's different times to rotate, like going late or going early. It all depends on the game, who's in your game. Every game's different. But for example, if you're on high ground somewhere and zones far, you probably want to go late. If you go early, you're going to get beamed from every person low ground. And just like in general, like know your landing spot and know what mats to get along your route and know how to rotate out as soon as you need to. All right, we're going to hop into a duo game, me and Kayun, and we're just going to try and play this competitively, show you guys what we would be doing if it actually was a competitive game. Strategies, rotates, and third party fights if we see any. So right now we're just chilling, farming mats. We, we saw before we landed, there's, there's no one around us, no one risky. So if we wanted to, we, we could go to Risky and then take one of these rifts to get out. Right now with the mat count being, it's capped, it's lower now, it is extremely difficult to rotate and manage your resources properly. You need to find places to farm late game. Late game circles, get into a house, farm the whole house, replace the walls, replace everything, refill your mats. Do whatever you can to constantly have the highest mat count you can. And then like late game when you're like last three circles and there's nothing to farm, just push kills if you need mats. If you need mats, you're going to have to play low round and you're going to have to push those teams that you ideally wouldn't want to. They're really focused on, again, just uh, playing for placements. They're a lot more observant than most, most people, you know. They're always prepared for pretty much any situation. Rotate on big hills early. Don't necessarily set up one by ones like three or four high. Set up one and if you get circle, you base up another one. Okay. If you don't, you rotate early, but you had that chance to get that hill. There's two guys on me. Okay. I'm basing up. Some under me. I'm just holding the height. Last one. So with both of you guys um pretty much like set up on modern, right? You guys technically have the high ground. If there was a team that was right below you and you know there's nobody around. Do you risk losing high ground to take that fight, or like if there's just turtled up? Okay, so yeah. like right now, I I have dynamite. Yeah. Okay. And if we like potentially tag them, and we see like they're in a really bad position, they're grouped together just in mm -hmm. like a wooden one by one. Yeah. I'm gonna throw one dynamite potentially, and we can see if we can laser them. Okay. But uh, I don't think I want to take that fight. Okay. So if I... there is a team below you, just let them sit there and then kind of just yeah, look chilling. around. Yeah. Okay. I'm still okay. playing for placement. I'm knocking him down. Okay. It's one v one. Coming at you. I'm not sure. All right, so that game, uh, both of us landed whaling. Uh, before we landed, we scouted the, the area to make sure there was no one here. We got whaling all to ourselves, so we just looted up. Uh, we saw a duo land risky, so we were like kind of cautious not to go risky, try to stay away from the north side, or at least be aware. Always placement over kills. Always want to focus on staying alive. Because if you get to that end game and you play it smart, you put yourself in a good position, you're going to get those kills. Like you, you saw in the end game of, of our public match here, how that team has to rotate into us. You're, you, if you play that smart, you're going to have that opportunity in actual competitive games to just shoot the people that are trying to turtle in. So just always play, play for placement. They definitely kept their composure when they both were low health, and I found that really impressive because there's a lot of players who they'll choke under that kind of pressure, but they seem really cool, calm, and collected. It's very hard to know when to decide to go up instead of 
stay low ground and, and stuff like that. Bizzle said you should just always be center circle because you have the best opportunity to save mats and not have to rotate. And I was like, wow, that's actually so obvious, but people don't really do that and I don't do that. And so that's really gonna help me out because I always just, I did the opposite. Watching Kai Yin and Bizzle was amazing. Uh, it's an honor to watch them and, and meet them and they have a lot of spirit and they're just human, just like us and, and it's cool. And we're just having a lot of fun here. Yeah, it's an amazing experience, it really is. <laughs>